All right, let's read some scripts. I read last time. So I figured out, let me start over from chapter two from the beginning. Yes, indeed. That's the best one. Okay, so we finished chapter one in the first podcast and part of chapter two, we're gonna go back and start over from the beginning of chapter two. Okay, page 376 of Jasher, chapter two at verse one. You guys ready? Yes, indeed. Everybody ready? Ready. Okay. And it was in the year... Oh, oh, excuse me. And it was in the 130th year of the life of Adam upon the earth that he again knew Eve, his wife. And she conceived and bare a son in his likeness and in his image. And she called his name Seth, saying, Because God has appointed me another seed in the place of Abel, for Cain has slain him. And Seth lived 105 years, and he begat his son. And Seth called the name of his son Enosh, saying, Because in that time the sons of men began to multiply, and to afflict their souls and hearts by transgressing and rebelling against God. And it was in the days of Enosh that the sons of men continued to rebel and transgress against God, to increase the anger of the Lord against the sons of men. And the sons of men went and they served other gods, and they forgot the Lord who had created them in the earth. And in those days the sons of men made images of brass and iron, wood and stone, and they bowed down and served them. Every man made his God, and they bowed down to them. And the sons of men forsook all the Lord all the days of Enosh and his children. And the anger of the Lord was kindled on account of their works and abominations which they did in the earth. And the Lord caused the waters of the river Gihon to overwhelm them, and he destroyed and consumed them, and he destroyed the third part of the earth. And notwithstanding this, the sons of men did not turn from their evil ways, and their hands were yet extended to do evil in the sight of the Lord. And in those days there was neither sowing nor reaping in the earth, and there was no food for the sons of men, and the famine was very great in those days. And the seed which they sowed in those days in the ground became thorns, thistles, and briars. For from the days of Adam was the, this declaration concerning the earth, of the curse of God, which he cursed the earth on account of the sin which Adam sinned before the Lord. And, when, and it was when men continued to rebel and transgress against God, and to corrupt their ways, that the earth also became corrupt. And Enosh lived ninety years, and he begat Canaan. <clears throat> and Canaan grew up, and he was forty years old. And he became wise, and had knowledge and skill and all wisdom. And, re- and he reigned over all the sons of men, and he led the sons of men to wisdom and knowledge. For Canaan was a very wise man, and had understanding and all wisdom. And with his wisdom he ruled over spirits and demons. And Canaan knew by his wisdom that God would destroy the sons of men for having sinned upon the earth, and that the Lord would in the latter days bring upon them the waters of the flood. Excuse me, brother. I'm going to cut you off. It's it's Canaan. Okay, in Canaan. All right. And in those days, Canaan wrote upon the tablets of stone what was to take place in time to come. And he put them in his treasures, and Canaan reigned over the whole earth. And some, and he turned some of the sons of men to the service of God. And when Canaan was seventy years old, he begat three sons and two daughters. And these are the names of the children of Canaan. The name of the firstborn was Mahalel, the second Enon, and the third Merid. And their sisters were Ada and Zillah. These are the five children of Canaan that were born to him. And Lamech, the son of Methuselah, became related to Canaan by marriage, and he took his two daughters for his wives, and Ada conceived and bare a son to Lamech, and she called his name Jabal. And she conceived and bare a son, and she again, oh, and she again conceived and bare a son, and called his name Jubal, and Zillah, her sister, was barren in those days, and had no offspring. For in those days the sons of men began to trespass against God, and to transgress the commandments which he had commanded to Adam, to be fruitful and multiply in the earth. And some of the sons of men caused their wives to drink a drought that would render them barren, 
in order that they might retain their figures, and whereby their beautiful appearance might not fade. And when the sons of men caused some of their wives to drink, Zillah drank with them. And the childbearing women appeared abominable in the sight of their husbands, as widows, whilst their husbands lived. For to the barren ones only they were attached. And in the, oh, go ahead. That was a, a, a thing when I was young. It was a, a era that people went through and they used um, vinegar and water. Really? When I was a kid, I used to go in the shower at my, and there was like a, I thought it was a, a microphone. Mm -hmm. It was like a red bottle right. that hung from the shower and it had a long hose and it was about that long little holes all in it mm -hmm. and uh i used to be in the shower not singing the microphone you know right just to make a woman bear yeah that well it wasn't well it's like a natural uh, birth control really yeah. well i don't think that's what their goals were with it i don't think they were afraid of the children no they wanted to ref they wanted to keep their wives as virgins no they wanted to keep them beautiful in their in their, in their sense they didn't want them to get, you know, when women become pregnant, they gain weight from eating and uh, feeding each other that's within them. So once a woman gets pregnant, sometimes her natural figure doesn't go back to what it was. So in order to prevent that, they say, hey, whenever I shoot, shoot blanks in, you ain't gonna get pregnant. Whenever I shoot something, you ain't gonna get pregnant. So you can, you know, your body gonna stay the same. Make it gone? Yes. Okay. On, just go back to Joshua chapter 2, verse uh, 21. And when the sons of men called some of their wives to drink, Zillah drank with them. And the childbearing woman appeared abominable in the sight of their husbands as widows, whilst their husbands lived. For to the barren ones only they were attached. And in the end of days and years, when Zillah became old, the Lord opened her womb. And she conceived and bare a son, and she called his name Tubal Cain, saying, I have withered away, and I have obtained him from the Almighty God. After oh, after I had withered away, I had, have I obtained him from the Almighty God. And she conceived again and bare a daughter, and she called her name Nama. For she said, After I had withered away, have I obtained pleasure and delight. <coughs> And Lamech was old and advanced in years, and his eyes were dim that he could not see. And Tubal Cain, his son, was leading him. And it was one day that Lamech went into the field, and Tubal Cain, his son, was with him. And whilst they were walking in the field, Cain, the son of Adam, advanced toward them. For Lamech was very old and could not see much. And Tubal Cain, his son, was very young. And Tubal Cain told his father to draw his bow, and with the arrows he smote Cain, who was yet far off, and he slew him, for he appeared to them to be an animal. And the arrows entered Cain's body, although he was distant from them, and he fell to the ground and died. And the Lord requited Cain's evil according to his wickedness, which he had done to his brother Abel, according to the word of the Lord which he had spoken. <clears throat> And it came to pass when Cain had died that Lamech and Tubal have Lamech and Tubal went to see the animal which they had slain, and they saw, and behold, Cain their grandfather was fallen dead upon the earth. And Lamech was very much grieved at the having done this, and in clapping his hands together he struck his son and caused his death. Oh Luke's what a day that is. And the wives of Lamech heard what Lamech had done. And they sought to kill him. And the wives of the neck hated him from that day, because he slew Cain and Tubal Cain. And the wives of Lamech separated from him, and would not hearken to him in those days. And Lamech came to his wives, and he pressed them to listen to him about this matter. And he said to the wives of to his wives, Ada and Zillah, Hear my voice, O wives of Lamech, attend to my words. For now you have imagined and said that I slew a man with my wounds and, and a child with my stripes for their having done no violence. But surely know that I am old and gray-headed and that my eyes are heavy through age 
and I did this thing unknowingly. And the wives of Lamech listened to him in this matter, and they returned to him with the advice of their father Adam. But they bore no children to him from that time. Knowing that God's anger was increasing in those days against the sons of men, to destroy them with the waters of the flood for their evil doings. In Mahalel, the son of Canaan, lived sixty-five years, and he begat Jared. And Jared lived sixty-two years, and he begat Enoch. We want to move on, recap, or keep it moving? I want to recap. All right, let's do that. Let's get some recap action. I'm sure that our viewers are interested. I wish we had a way to uh, know what questions they have, so put some comments below, and we'll, next time we get together, we'll read those comments and go back and see if we can't find some answers to your questions. Right. But anyway, what, what you want to recap, God? What, what stood out to you? Um, the verses from 30, 32 down to 35. The wives uh, <laughs> wanted to kill their husband. Well, not even even before that. I mean, uh, Lamech clapped his hands. Clapped his hands together. He struck his son and caused him to die. Just off of that, his son died. And he was old, and he had that much strength to do something like that. That's kind of interesting, you know, to read. Y'all don't find it interesting? Yeah. And uh, verse 30. 31. 31. Mm -hmm. And Lamech was very much grieved at having done this, as shooting uh, with the bow. And in clapping his hands together, he struck his son and caused his death. Well, I'll tell you. Before I read the book of Jasher, I would have been amazed with that. But as I as I continued and read this whole chat, uh, book, I realized that God's people, when you connect with God, you, you have some mighty fierce power. And as, as we read Joshua, you folks at home who've never read it, you're going to be amazed with the power that's stored within ourselves. Mm -hmm. If we just have faith of a mustard seed. And some of us, who you see who have extraordinary abilities, those aren't extraordinary abilities. They were just born maybe in a certain way that they can just tap in naturally to the to the powers of the creator and vows in each and every one of them. You know? And I feel that's why these books were taken out. Yeah, that's <laughs> so so individuals don't realize what authority they really have over over their avatars. If you would, yeah, yeah. you know. So, if it, you got any more questions? I'm glad you brought yeah, that up. And um, to how Jasher connects with Genesis. In Genesis, uh, Lamech was telling his wives to listen to him. I, for I have slain a man. But then when you read this, it gives more in-depth detail about what he meant when he said that. Because if, if you read Genesis, I'm going to go to it. If you read Genesis, um, it, it's interesting how it's portrayed, you know, and he's sharing the, let's see. I guess we're saying it's popular. Okay. He's trying to find, we're talking about the neck in the original Genesis. Yeah. Yeah, this, this story is, is like an extended version of, of yeah, some, cool. some of the stories you heard when you were younger. Yeah, this is a uh, Genesis chapter four, uh, verse 23. It says, And the Mech said unto his wives, Ada and Zilpah, hear my voice, you wives of, of the Mech, hearkening to my speech, for I have slain a man to my wounding and a young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. And he explains why he said that, because right. yeah. Cain, Cain did it willingly. He did it unknowingly. So there's a huge difference between doing a sin willingly and doing one unknowingly. Right. Have you ever heard the expression, don't shoot until you see the what? Whites of their eyes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I never heard that. Never? Mm -hmm. You shoot a bird in the bush, it's going to be one of the, your brothers if you ain't sharp. Yeah, I never heard that. Don't shoot until you see the white of their eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's for all you aspiring hunters. 
You take somebody hunting with you, don't think they automatically know not to shoot in the bushes. <laughs> because they don't. You better have a, a two minute briefing before you go out in the woods. Because you might kill your brother. Goodness gracious. Smudge these eyes so I don't have to see none of this evil. This mouth so I don't have to speak it. This hair to destroy all that history I have of the evil I've done. And this heart because it's dirty and filthy. You think it ain't? Yeah. You think them hearts ain't dirty and filthy? Uh, huh? It'll lead you to the daggone a dead end if you ain't sharp. Unless you ask the Creator to purify it. Now come on, let's go. You're in chapter 3, God. Chapter 3. Starting at verse 1. And Enoch lived 65 years, and he begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after having begat Methuselah. And he served the Lord and despised the evil ways of men. And the soul of Enoch was wrapped up in the instruction of the Lord, in knowledge and in understanding. And he wisely retired from the sons of men and secreted himself from them for many days. And it was at the expiration of many years, whilst he was serving the Lord and praying before him in his house, that an angel of the Lord called to him from heaven, and he said, Here am I. And he said, Rise, go forth from thy house, and from the place where thou dost hide thyself, and appear to the sons of men, in order that thou mayest teach them the way in which they should go, and the work which they must accomplish to enter the ways of God. And Enoch rose up according to the word of the Lord, and went forth from his house, and from his place, and from the chamber in which he was concealed. And he went to the sons of men, and taught them the ways of the Lord. And at that time assembled the sons of men, and acquainted them in the destruction of the Lord. And he ordered it to be proclaimed in all places where the sons of men dwelt, saying, Where is the man who wishes to know the ways of the Lord and good works? Let him come to Enoch. All the sons of men then assembled to him. For all who desired this thing went to Enoch. And Enoch reigned over the sons of men according to the word of the Lord. And they came and bowed to him, and they heard his word. And the Spirit of God was upon Enoch. And he taught all his men the wisdom of God and his ways. And the sons of men served the Lord all the days of Enoch. And they came to hear his wisdom. And all the kings of the sons of men both first and last, together with their princes and judges, came to Enoch, when they heard of his wisdom, and they bowed down to him. And they also required of Enoch to reign over them, to which he consented. And they assembled in all one hundred and they are. And they assembled in all one hundred and thirty kings and princes, and they made Enoch king over them, and they were all under his power and command. And Enoch taught them wisdom, knowledge, and the ways of the Lord. And he made peace amongst them. And peace was throughout the earth during the life of Enoch. And Enoch reigned over the sons of men 243 years. And he did justice and righteousness with all his people. And he led them in the ways of the Lord. And these are the generations of Enoch, Methuselah, Elisha, and Elimelech, three sons. And their sisters were Melchah and Nama. And Methuselah lived 87 years, and he begot Lamech. And it was in the 50, 56th year of the life of Lamech when Adam died. 930 years old was he at his death. And his two sons, with Enoch and Methuselah, his son, buried him with great pomp, as at the burial of kings in the cave which God had told him. And in that place, all the sons of men made a great mourning and weeping on account of Adam. It has therefore become a custom among the sons of men to this day. Mm. Hey, one second, folks, mm. if, I, if you don't mind. I can't say about any other, about anyone else's people. I can only speak about my people. Um, my forefathers, when I was younger, my grandfather, my great grandfather, they lived to be in their late 
80s and they really adhered to the scripture and their mission was to teach their sons and daughters these type of lessons like Enoch. However, my father, he didn't live as long and it seemed as though his goals were to instill in me the ability to understand this world in terms of working, work ethic, and uh, how to survive. You're talking about a man that lived 900 years and shared wisdom of the Lord with his people. Uh, I'm going to take a different route in just a second. Uh, I have a farm now that I'm trying to, to, to turn into a workable, sustainable farm. I've been on that farm for 17 months. And it's hard. If I were to move on, my son has a lot of work ahead of him. So what I'm seeing, a lot of generations have had their fathers and forefathers prepare a, a, a lot for their, their, their children. And uh, just, just study that thought that, I, that I'm, I'm driving at a little bit. And, and I, I don't know if if my case is isolated, but I feel as though my, my family tried to stick together and teach us the, the, the way. But uh, this is the way, okay? Them dollars, man, that's not the way. That's not the way of the warrior. Them dollars that everybody's chasing, that's not the way. That's not the way of a warrior. This is the way. Teach your children this. I'm sorry for interrupting men. No, I'm different. No, we were finished off at verse 15. Mm -hmm. We'll start back at verse 16. And Adam died because he ate of the tree of knowledge, he and his children after him, as the Lord God had spoken. And it was in the year of Adam's death, which was the 243rd year of the reign of Enoch. In that time, Enoch resolved to separate himself from the sons of men and to secret himself as at first in order to serve the Lord. And Enoch did so, but did not entirely seek himself from them, but kept away from the sons of men three days, and then went to them for one day. And during the three days that he was in his chamber, he prayed to and praised the Lord his God. And the day on which he went and appeared to his subjects, he taught them the ways of the Lord. And all they asked him, and all they asked him about the, the Lord, he told them. And he did this in this manner. For many years, he afterward concealed himself for six days and appeared to his peoples one day and seven. And after that, once in a month and then once in a year, until all the kings, princes, and sons of men saw for him and desired again to see his, the face of Enoch and to hear his word, but they could not, as all the sons of men were greatly afraid of Enoch. And they feared to approach him on account of the godlike awe that was seated upon his countenance. Therefore no man could look at him, fearing he might be punished and die. And all the kings and princes resolved to assemble the sons of men and to come to Enoch, thinking that they might all speak to him at the time when he should come forth amongst them, and they did so. And the day came when Enoch went forth, and they all assembled and came to him. Enoch spoke to them the words of the Lord, and he taught them wisdom and knowledge, and they bowed down before him, and they said, May the king live, may the king live. And then some time after, when the kings and princes and the sons of men were speaking to Enoch, and Enoch was teaching them the ways of God, behold, an angel of the Lord then called unto Enoch from heaven, and wished to bring him up to heaven to make him reign there over the sons of God, as he had reigned over the sons of men upon earth. When at the time Enoch heard this, he went and assembled all the inhabitants of the earth and taught them wisdom and knowledge and gave them divine instructions. And he said to them, I have been required to ascend to heaven. I therefore do not know the day of my going. And now, therefore, I will teach you wisdom and knowledge and will give you instruction before I leave you, how to act upon earth, whereby you may live. And he did so. And he taught them wisdom and knowledge and gave them instruction and he reproved them he placed before them statutes and judgments to do upon the earth, to do upon the earth. And he made peace amongst them, and he taught them everlasting life, and dwelt with them 
some time teaching them all these things. And at that time, the sons of men were with Enoch, and Enoch was speaking to them, and they lifted up their eyes. And the likeness of a great horse descended from heaven, and the horse paced in the air. And they told Enoch what they had seen, and Enoch said to them, On my account does this horse descend upon earth. The time has come when I must go from you, and I shall no more be seen by you. And the horse descended at that time, and stood before Enoch. And all the sons of men that were that word with Enoch saw him. And Enoch then again ordered a voice to be proclaimed, saying, Where is the man who delighted to know the ways of the Lord his God? Let him come this day to Enoch before he is taken from us. And all the sons of men assembled and came to Enoch that day, and all the kings of the earth with their princes and counselors remained with him that day. And Enoch taught the sons of men wisdom and knowledge and gave them divine instruction. And he bade them serve the Lord and walk in his ways all the days of their lives. And he continued to make peace amongst them. And it was after this that he rose up and rode upon the horse, and he went forth. And all the sons of men went after him, about 800,000 men. And they went with him one day's journey. And the second day he said to them, Return home to your tents. Why will you go? Perhaps you may die. And some of them went from him, and those that remained with him went with him six days' journey. Enoch said to them every day, Return to your tents, that you may die. But they were not willing to return, and they went with him. And on the sixth day, some of the men remained and clung to him. And they said to him, We will go with thee to the place where thou goest. As the Lord liveth, death only shall separate us. And they urged so much to go with them. That they see speaking to them, that he sees speaking to them. And they went after him and would not return. And when the kings returned, they caused a census to be taken in order to know the number of remaining men that went with Enoch. And it was upon the seventh day that Enoch ascended into heaven in the whirlwind with horses and chariots of fire. And on the eighth day, all the kings that had been with Enoch sent to bring back the number of men that were with Enoch in that place from which he ascended into heaven. And all those kings went to the place, and they found the earth there filled with snow. And upon the snow were large stones of snow. And one said to another, Come, let us break through the snow and see. Perhaps the men that remain with Enoch are dead, and are not under the stones of snow. And they searched, but could not find him, for he had ascended into heaven. That was the end of chapter 3. Man, that was heavy. It definitely was. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Now, who is this Enoch we're speaking about? This is one. this is the one from the, the bloodline of Seth who right. placed yeah. Enoch. Yeah. So he's the one that that's the the line of seed that was that lived righteous, even though they did sin, but they lived the majority of their life righteous on Seth's side. So, so it seems like. In order for him to uh, maintain, the, why did he hide from men so often? To serve the Lord. I mean, it makes sense, though. It makes sense. I mean, the only way I, I find the best time you serve the Lord is when you're totally by yourself. You got nobody distracting yeah. you. You got no nothing to, no one else to worry about. No one else to worry about but yourself. Yeah. So being alone in the solitude, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It don't seem like it's bad at all. Yeah. He was going for three days, and he was going for a year, month at a time. So that's pretty good. Let me just go ahead and stay gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Go yeah. pretty yeah. well. Hey, look, I, I think I'm getting ready to get up out of here, guys. Yeah. I don't listen. I will stay gone as long as I have to to leave right. this wicked place. Mm -hmm. Now, did any of those men go with him? What, what are we reading here? Yeah, I mean, if you. If, are we reading that some of these guys went with him? That's, I mean, that's what it sounds like. Come on. Because, you know, if they were dead, wouldn't their bodies and bones be there? Unless they turn, their bodies turn into, like, the snow and everything. I don't know. Well, maybe if we read forward, we'll find out. But can, can flesh, did, did, did they go up and send in heaven with their flesh and blood? No. In their body? Or were they transformed into a different type of being? No, he went up as a spirit. Did he? Okay, it's good reading, man. 
Mm. We want to talk about it some more or keep it going? Absolutely. Mm. All right, let's move on. Chapter 4. And all the days that Enoch lived upon earth were 365 years. And when Enoch had ascended into heaven, all the kings of the earth rose and took Meth- how do y'all pronounce that? Methuselah. And all the kings of the earth rose and took Methuselah, his son, and anointed him. And they caused him to reign over them in the place of his father. And Methuselah acted uprightly in the sight of God. And his father Enoch, as his father Enoch had taught him. And he likewise during the whole of his life taught the sons of men wisdom, knowledge, and the fear of God. And he did not turn from the good way, either to the right or to the left. But in the later days of Methuselah, the sons of men turned from the Lord. They corrupted the earth. They robbed and plundered each other. And they rebelled against God, and they transgressed. And they corrupted their ways and would not hearken to the voice of Methuselah, but rebelled against him. And the Lord was exceedingly wroth against them. And the Lord continued to destroy the seed in those days, so that there was neither sowing nor reaping in the earth. For when they sowed the ground in order that they might obtain food for their support, Behold, thorns and thistles were produced, which they did not sow. And still the sons of men did not turn from their evil ways. And their hands were extended to do evil in the sight of God. And they provoked the Lord with their evil ways, and the Lord was very wroth, and repented that he had made man. He thought to destroy and illiterate. Annihilate. <laughs> <laughs> he thought to destroy right. and annihilate them. <laughs> and he did so. Mm. And in those days when Lamech, the son of Methuselah, was 160 years old, Seth, the son of Adam, died. And all the days that Seth lived were 912 years, and he died. And Lamech was 180 years old when he took Ashmua, the daughter of Elisa, the son of Enoch, his uncle, and she conceived. And at that time, the sons of men sowed the ground, and a little food was produced. Yet the sons of men did not turn from their evil ways, and they transgressed and rebelled against God. And the wife of Lamech conceived and bare him a son at that time, at the revolution of the year. And Methuselah called his name Noah, saying, The earth was in his days at rest and free from corruption. And Lamech, his father, called his name Meachum. Meachum? Menachum. Menachem, saying, This one shall comfort us in our works and misery, miserable toll in the earth which God has had cursed. And the child grew up and was weaned, and he went in the ways of his father Methuselah, perfect and upright with God. And all the sons of men departed from the ways of the Lord in those days, as they multiplied upon the face of the earth with sons and daughters, and they taught one another their evil practices, and they continued sinning against the Lord. And every man made upon himself a god, and they robbed and plundered every man his neighbor, as well as his relative. And they corrupted the earth, and the earth was filled with violence, and their judges and rulers went to the daughters of men and took their wives by force from their husbands according 
to their choice. And the sons of men in those days took from the cattle of the earth the beast of the field and the fowls of the air and taught the mixture of animals mm -hmm. of one species with the other in, in order therewith to provoke the Lord. And God saw <laughs> and God saw the whole earth and it was corrupt for all flesh had corrupted its way upon earth all men and all animals and the Lord said I will blot out man that I created from the face of earth ye from men ye from man would you yeah from man to the birds of the air together with cattle and beasts that are in the field for I repent that I made them. And all men who walked in the ways of the Lord died in those days before the Lord brought the evil upon men, which he had declared. For this was from the Lord, that they should not see the evil which the Lord spoke of concerning the sons of men. And Noah found grace in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord chose him and his children to rise to raise up seed from them upon the face of the whole earth. Definitely a recap on that. Wow. That, that, was, that was heavy to me. <laughs> Jasher is, is, it is a heavy book. Whoa. Uh, it just, that whole thing sounds familiar. It so certainly it does. does. <laughs> it, it, sounds, it certainly does. It's extremely like, familiar, don't you? Earth might be in some trouble. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. my goodness. That's all you hear about is tampering with uh, DNA sequences, DNA, animals, and hey, gene splicing. They even trying to splice our genes with this. What was that they put in everybody? That vaccine? The mRNA. The MRNA. Yeah, someone, got the, uh, someone got a pig kidney implanted in them. That's a new thing. I did. In, in, in the pig heart. Guess what? Yeah. They died. The pig kidney guy? The pig heart guy. Oh, I don't know about the pig heart. I heard somebody got a fresh pig kidney. Got pig a kidney? Or. Was it a pig or a hog or what's that other bird? Boar. Boar. Is one, is one of them, it ain't a human. Boar. Boar. Well, they've been using uh, pig yeah. uh, valves and what have you for years and years for, uh, I mean, I don't know about using these pig uh, parts. I'm not a doctor. Uh, right. I know what I'm reading here. Yeah. And, uh, however, I do believe the hand of, of the physician is anointed by God. To an extent, yeah. and then you know, they get that godlike syndrome, and they... yeah, we were just recapping uh, what we read in Jasher, and one thing I'd like to read is uh, Jasher chapter one at verse twelve, and the Lord drove. Well, let's start at eleven. And Adam and his wife transgressed the command of God, which He commanded them. And God knew it, and his anger kindled against them, and he cursed them. And the Lord God drove them that day from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which they were taken. And they went and dwelt at the east of the Garden of Eden. And Adam knew his wife Eve, and she bore two sons and three daughters. So at verse chapter 12 is where they were. And uh, Genesis it does say that they were driven out and God placed uh, some of his uh, creations to prevent them from re-entering the garden. So they were expelled. Previously, I think I may have mentioned that they weren't, that all this was going on in the garden. I was wrong. Glad we corrected that. I, I saw it. Yeah. I thought I thought that's what it was saying too. Like they just went to like the eastern portion of it, but east of the garden is just like the garden's there and you went to the east direction of it. Yeah. yeah, you were back. <laughs> yeah. you were no yeah. longer back yeah. about to get right. here. Yeah. That was a y'all go east. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, it was a nice thought to think that we were all still in it. And you uh -huh. close your eyes and be in the garden reading, but wrong. Uh, That's yeah. wrong. I got it bad in there. So yeah, like, we're at chapter four now. No, we are at chapter. Uh, yeah. 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 Can, can we can we plant a garden now and get some produce out of it? The Lord loves us, guys. Hey, yeah, do because hey, as long as this is not there, they're not. I mean, you, you do have to tend your garden, but you can have one. 
Mm-hmm. Listen, guys, if you think this stuff isn't true, that's fine. Take a look at what's going on around you and see if any of this was foretold what's happening to us. That's why they took it out, so you wouldn't know, like, to stop doing what we're doing. Yeah. The whole world he said they kept going back. He said it's kept going back and do we even kept going back and going back and going back. That's kind of scary. We've been doing this for a while. You know, listen, I, I was talking to someone. We were talking about uh, religion and scriptures. And uh, you really have to seek truth. And that's our mission. You know, it's taken me many years to come to the, to this Holy Scriptures and put down my King James Version. And, and not that, I mean, I read it uh, as a child. It, you could not convince me to pick up another book because it's how I was brainwashed and programmed to believe. Now I'm reading a new scripture. It's not new, it's old, but it. It's a missing piece of the There's book. missing pieces. Now, speaking on brainwashed, uh, I think all of us ha- have been brainwashed to an extent. Um, I, I, I want to know. I want to go and seek knowledge. I want to see if my DNA has been tampered with. I want to know if I've been cut off and, and it's been uh, changed. I want to know, do, do, does any of you guys out here think that uh, people have been brainwashed and, and they uh, have a worship gene implanted in them? You know, because I feel as though a lot of people want to worship something. Now, I don't know if this is, was designed by our creator or if we've been tempered with. Mm-hmm. But it's important that we, you do good. There is a divine creator. This is a divine design. And the truth is out there. We're going to keep reading these scriptures. But believe you me. When the resources uh, are available as, as we move forward, we're, we are going to delve into the truth. If we have to go into the vaults of Egypt, I'm going to find the truth. Are you going? You with me? I, mean, I want to know what's going on. I want to know it. Do you? I do. That's why I've been searching for it. Hey, that's why I've been doing this. I'm blessed to have this knowledge. It is, it is important to, 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 to read and learn. Read, read, read. Mm-hmm. They say that the easiest way to hide something Put from a... Uh, from a from a man is to put it in a book. Does that apply to you? Yeah, you sitting there watching us. Okay. I wanted to talk back on verse eighteen to chapter four. Okay. The whole um, <clears throat> mixing of species. <laughs> Where's this chapter? Uh, chapter four. It's on page three eighty four. Mm-hmm. Verse eighteen. Okay. Speaking about you know taking different species, not just of. Uh, uh, beasts of the field of, of the air too and mixing you know growing up I used to watch a lot of different anime I still do now or certain video games and read whatever the case may be and if you look into these games like uh, 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 what's the name of this game it's like some War of Legends back with some witches and, and other species and oh lord they be uh, <laughs> they be putting um, griffins Griffins is a is a mixture of a lion with the wings of an eagle with the uh, claws of something else. I can't remember. But they've been putting this information out in front of us for a while. Even it's another anime I watched called The Alchemist, where a guy made a, a chimera, which is literally a, 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 a coagulation of different species and making it to something different. Mm. And they've been doing it for a while too, like a liger, for example. Oh yeah, it's a lion and a tiger. <laughs> and it's a, and to me, I believe a lot of these animals we see now aren't even real. I don't even think we have any real animals right now. Well, I tell you, I don't, what, what's your generation called? I have no idea. They, 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 call, they call a generation Gen X or Generation no, Z. I'm not, I'm not sure what they are, but I can tell you, certain generations were programmed by whomever to not seek a lot of knowledge. That's true. Like, if I were, and this is programmed into me, uh, if I sit and I watch, a, 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 as an example, I refrain from watching too many Old Spice commercials. When that commercial comes on, unbeknownst to anybody around me, I turn the channel. Only because I see a lot of things that I was raised to say, hey, 
When you read about stuff like that, you see things like that, a man had man had horse. Yeah, but we didn't or, talk about the native commercial. Is that the commercial? The no, no, that was an old special commercial. I know what you're talking about. When he had he had the upper body with abs and whatever, and he had the lower body with a horse. Yeah, and the legs was like super long. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Hey, they put that in your face. But listen, not only are you seeing that, they got some. There's frequencies that they can they can put out there to really. Uh, I don't know what these things do and, and how these frequencies can change things about you, but there's weapons like that that can really corrupt the innocent. It's true. You know? It's true. People that aren't like protecting their souls. Yeah. That that anime that anime yeah. that anime business, you know, my generation would not watch it. We would be like, oh no. Now to hear you talk about it, I've seen some anime characters as I drove through downtown Raleigh before, and I'm like, What's going? That's when I first was introduced to Adam. I said, "What are these guys dressed up like these things for?" And uh, that's when I found out it was anime, and it's a lot of youth involved in anime. Well, anyway, that's good yeah. conversations, guys. So let's keep getting educated and keep uh, learning because it's important. That's true. that's true. We might be able to stop this uh, end of times, man. Cut that brimstone out. Might ask, "Hey, Dad, can you?" Uh, <laughs> Can you hold those rimstone off if you find three righteous men? Please? I'd like to... Uh, no, seriously. <laughs> hey, over there like uh, uh, Abraham pleading. Just, just, if you just find 50. Matter of fact, if you just find 40. Matter of fact, if you just find 30. Can you just find 10? 5? Yeah. And it's hard to be righteous. You know, a lot of people that I know... And I, and I could be wrong here, guys. I'm reading to know it more and more and more. They believe that if you uh, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and say the sinner's prayer, you're forgiven of all your sins and you're going straight to heaven. To straight to heaven. heaven. That's mm -hmm. all you have to do. You don't have to do anything else. If that were true, my goodness, man, I'd say that sinner's prayer and I'd go lock myself in a room and that's it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't come out here with man, but I can't see that being the case. There's work to be done. If that was true, then... Verse uh, 31 would, would, wouldn't be right here. It says, And all the sons of men assembled. This 31 of chapter 3. And all the sons of men assembled. It came to Enoch that day. And all the kings of the earth with their princes and counselors were made with him that day. And Enoch taught the sons of men wisdom and knowledge and gave them divine instruction. And he bade them to serve the Lord and walk in his ways in all the days of their lives. And he continued to make peace amongst them. He gave instruction. So we have instruction. You got to do something. And he said to walk, so that's action. Those are action verb based words. You can't get, I, you can give me instruction. If I don't do it, I'm not gonna come with what you gave me. I can't just, if you tell me to go and, to, and turn the car key on and start the car so we can uh, so we can heat up, so the engine can be nice and oil running. If I don't do that, that's not gonna happen. And the right. car not gonna be started. That's right. Well, Enoch, j just for folks that are listening in, and hear what we read, how Enoch, isolated himself and was called up. Yeah, he did do that. But he also was out with the people. Mm -hmm. This man, he was burnt out probably with the people. Yeah. After they exhausted him, he went back and said, I got to get the power back up. And then he'd come back out. But Yeah. Blazing. Blazing. Well let's keep on reading, man. This is great. Do we have to or what's the time look like? Yeah. Time change. It's ten twenty three. Ethan, how you look on time? All right, you all right? You tired, son? No, we're in another chapter. What were we at? Chapter so you, five? Yeah, chapter four. Oh, what? Yeah, you were. You just finished reading chapter four. Okay. Yeah. Great. Do we need to introduce ourselves to this to our, our audience of folks? No, uh, it's not about us. It's about yes, well, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's Keep about moving, man. I'm alone. Yeah, we're nobodies. I'm, I'm very G. <laughs> all right, so uh, I'm going to start at Jasper chapter five, verse one.